Hey, what's up, guys? This is Team Hard Life Captain Albert Sotokuchin, and here's the second video on the Fulton Pier. And yes, I put this one out right before, right after that other video on the other rod. And yes, this one has a float, so we're gonna see how well this one works out. Because I'm real interested, because the other one, y'all saw where the bubbles came out of the crab and it sank to the bottom. Well, this one already has a float, so will that make a difference to keep it up? We'll find out. Yep, so it's going down. See what happens. Looks like it's already hit the bottom. You can see the bubble's still coming out of it. And this time it's really angled upwards. It's still going. Hmm. Bubble's still coming out. Dang, that was that looked like it was a long way down. And you can see some seaweed. Oh, is that the line? Is that the main line? Hmm. What is going on there? Well, let's see what happens. We'll give it a little bit.
So as that line has remained in the background, it keeps tottering back and forth. And when it first came out, I was kind of leery about it, thinking that, you know, it was going to get caught up. But as I remember the fishing trip, and none of my lines became crossed up. But this will also go to show you that you see how far it is basically off the bottom kind of deal towards the water surface. And yes, this is four times the speed because I had it out the out there for about an hour so the you know i got it going a little quicker but the water clarity on this one obviously is a lot more because the extra float on there so it's angled up more towards the water surface and that kind of works but also too that's not really what i want either i want it at an angle so the last camera pitch was better until those bubbles of the crab came out of the crab and it settled all the way to the floor. So I don't know if maybe it's because this crab still has a lot more air in it than the last crab or what it is. So it's uh, definitely a tough choice to make, you know, but it does show you the distance in casting in a kind of off way. One meaning, you know, the second line that's still up there, the line's not even nowhere near the bottom and that gives you an idea of how much further that cast was since i did not have a camera on it and i was just throwing bait of how far i was able to get it out there so this is really interesting it kind of looks like that crab is just under the water surface but it's not it's it's got to be at least six seven maybe eight foot down from the water surface there which looks pretty cool because i mean yeah it was pretty calm that day and as the day wore on it got calmer and calmer and it was basically after nightfall when the water really died out so it's pretty interesting it's still uh, what to do what to do kind of deal do I remove the float do I leave it in I don't know it's, uh, it's one of them catch 22s because right now like I said the other crab did that but it was because it didn't have enough air in the bait so we will see most definitely
So as you can see, the sun is going down and we can still see kind of a silhouette of the crab and stuff like that. I took out a good portion of it because like I said, when it went black, it went black and there was nothing we could see. What would have been nice is maybe there was a deal on the camera to where if it automatically hits that kind of zone that it automatically turns it on. Hey, you know what? That's a great idea. Maybe I should get with them and have it to where it automatically does turn on to where I don't have to set it up. That it automatically turn on that night light when it hits enough darkness there to automatically do that. That is a fantastic idea. I'm going to get with them and see what they can do that. But yep, there's a crab and this is get me getting ready to turn on the underwater camera for night vision so that way or the night light so I can get it casted back out and we can see what's going on and most definitely going to keep fishing this because like I said clear water is kind of a good thing for us right now.